I was uh, surprised that the whole day, um, no mosquitoes. Then the uh, sun went down and we were getting ready to go into bed and something, I don't remember what I had to do. It was something to do, I think my, I think my hammock slipped. <laughs> I was already in bed. I was <laughs> already yeah. attempting to sleep and I hear this, the whole like platform just <laughs> shook. <laughs> And I was like, what the heck? And his, yeah. His the hammock hand. slipped because I had attempted to use one of these nails hanging on the post to get a little lower with the hammock, more level. And that nail just gave out instantly when I tried to sit down. And the whole thing, whoop, like that. And I think I yelled. <laughs> so anyway, I had to get out and <laughs> fix it. So I got out. And by now, it's dusk. The sun's down. It's getting dark. And a cloud of mosquitoes descended on me. I was like, oh my gosh, where did you come from? <laughs> yeah. The, the easier part about this is that we're not carrying backpacks. We yeah. can put everything in the canoe. You can take more <clears throat> with you easily. I had to plan for like, is it going to be hot or is it going to be cold? And he told me it was going to be in the 80s, which it is. But that northern... Indiana boy was like, mm -hmm. it's it's March. It can't be that one. It's not gonna, sorry, it's not gonna. <laughs> so, you know, I still brought jeans and hoodies and jackets and stuff, but I am so glad I packed a few of these things. The weather actually has been perfect yeah. to sleep in if it wasn't for the frogs. Mm. So we just got done with another, you know, what did we say, seven miles of, yeah. of canoeing? It was and different. Then the, the first day we were on the Sewanee Canal, so it was very like a primarily straight and wider, and uh, your trees on both sides, kind of like the environment right now. Um, <clears throat> so I think most of that was faster going. I agree. Once we turned onto the, I think it was the Purple Trail, to get to Round Top, it opened up into that like wetland prairie I was talking about, and the water trail was way narrower and windy and now we were contending with the wind wanted to push a push the canoe into the bank i guess you call it if that's what you want to call it <laughs> that's the best that you could call of it the, of the water trail when we say the word bank it almost it makes it sound like it was a distinct yeah, land no. versus water where it wasn't it was more just like shallower mm -hmm. water and that's where all of the uh, vegetation was, so mm -hmm. it would just stop your canoe. Yeah. It, and it, it really was a pain, and trying to then get out of it mm -hmm. was difficult. <clears throat> it was so frustrating to me, because once you stopped, it was like getting started again was so difficult. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The wind. Because you have inertia yeah. built as you're moving forward, like momentum, and once you stop, getting that, I don't know how many hundred pounds we have in the canoe between us and our gear, yeah. but it's like getting past that inertia to get moving again. Uh, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. It was. And then another thing that panicked me is based on the map, we were supposed to go down the purple, we were supposed to take a left on the blue, Yeah. and then we were supposed to take a right on the blue onto orange. Well, it went purple, left blue, and then we come to a next turn and I'm looking for turn us right. to turn right, and there's a sign there that says, this area is closed off, and my heart sank, yeah. and I'm like freaking <laughs> Where out. Where are we? Yeah. And he's like, well, maybe this is this area. Maybe this is the blue trail. Maybe still. this is still the blue trail, but yeah. in my head I'm like, I looked at the map with you, Nathan. There's no freaking right. No, <laughs> There's not a second left on right, the freaking right. blue trail. But we followed it, and then we ended up finding the uh, orange trail that we were supposed uh -huh. to go on, where we did take the right. We made it to the platform here yeah. very quickly once we got on the orange trail again. We made it to Canal Run Shelter. Um, not sure, I think it was a five or six mile paddle today from the round top. And uh, we're glad to get here. We're exhausted. <laughs> Basically, even though today was a shorter paddle, it was kind of a harder paddle because we were pushing, fighting the wind a lot um, today. So it made the paddling a little more difficult. Um, and I think we're kind of tired. We both didn't sleep a lot last night because of all the bullfrogs <laughs> making a, a huge ruckus. Um, but uh, hopefully sleep better tonight. 
Um, and of course, but we got here at like one thirty or something. Mm-hmm. So we have a full day to just kill, just sitting here. Yeah. And uh, again, he, well, when we did Manistee, I brought a small game yeah. uh, to play, which Dead Man's Draw is what we played. And uh, yeah, that was a good one. It's a fantastic game. Just mm-hmm. a little side note there. Dead Man's Draw, seriously, check it out. And I never even thought to bring anything. And just because I was trying to, you know, pack for a plane yeah. ride. Yeah. And I never even crossed my mind, so now we got all this time to go. <laughs> it's just kind of like waiting but for that rain. We are tired, so. Yeah. Nathan does a lot of nature stuff on his own, not with me. And uh, he's done a lot of cool things. And I, oh, which by the way, he's also a fantastic musician. And we're going to get some video of him singing one of his, uh, I'm assuming an original. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have him sing one of his originals. Heading down the trail, looking for a waffle house, drinking lots of wild turkey. Yeehaw! I think we're at 69. Out. That, that's that got to be 70, right? Oh, no, I he's, think 69. He was, he's 69. Okay, that's our 69. Okay, so we've been keeping count, and we're at 69 gators right now. Two days. 22 and 45. Most of, memorable. Of the list, we're definitely the most memorable. Yeah. 22, I saw him, we were rowing, and I see this big freaking gator just jump from start. the bank. He was moving fast. So we're coming along bank. like this, like the gator is up here, and the, I'm trying to get that camera on. the gator's up here, right? And we're coming this way, and he jumps into the water, right as we're going past him. And then he instantly stuck his head up out of the water, opened his mouth, like kind of a hiss or whatever, at Judah. This is right as Judah. Yeah. <laughs> and then Judah, like, lifted the paddle up just, you know, it was a reflex, you know, just lifted it up, like, ah. And then that freaked him, freaked him out, and he, like, backed up underwater like yeah. that. Yeah. I saw the terror in his face when I lifted up my paddle. He was like, this man knows how to use a paddle. <laughs> and he got scared. <laughs> but then he did, like, this uh, back roll. And wow. it was, he, like, and just flipped, kind of rolled kind of away. Underwater. Yeah. Wow. Which was kind of cool. Yeah. But at the same time, I was terrifying. also terrified. Mm-hmm. And then 45. Oh, my word. He, he just laid across the whole... So we're estimating he was about nine feet. A good nine feet long alligator. A large alligator, maybe even ten feet. It was big, okay? A big alligator. And the canal um, was not much wider no, than him. And he was much. laying straight across where we were heading. And um, as we were approaching him, we couldn't tell. At first, you know, we see him from a distance. We're like, I don't know how big he is, but he's laying straight across. And so we were, like, filming him. And um, then we had to come to a decision, like, he's not moving. Most of the alligators, once you, we've, we've encountered, once you approach them, they either go underwater or they just slip, slip away, you know. They just move on. This guy was not having it. He's like, I am not moving. No, I'm not going anywhere. You decide what you want to do. And when we're talking about the length and everything, there is like, it was almost like he himself had decided, I'm going to lay here and only give enough space on the There front. was like, it was like canoe, maybe three feet. That's canoe it. lip width. Yeah, literally. On either side of him. So it, it. it literally became a heads or tails decision. Now, I kept saying, <laughs> Let's go towards the tail. And he probably would, would have been wiser. But he was like... I was like, no. He thought that it would scare it. it like would spook it would be him. more like... And then he would flip back if we brushed against his tail. Like that would trigger him to flip back and, you know, snap, snap at us. And I wasn't convinced, but at the same time, I wasn't like... Wasn't interested in arguing about... I'm like, if, if we're going to get... <laughs> and we didn't have a lot of time to decide yeah. either. I was like, and if we were going to die, we're going to die, whatever. So... <laughs> Then he's like, I, I think we should really go for the head so that it doesn't get you know. freaked out. And I, again, I, I pushed one, <laughs> one last time. I was like, it knows we're here, Nathan. It knows, okay? It clearly gives no Fs whatsoever. No, no. And it's just like, try it. Just yeah, try. Just take your pick. What you want to do? So we, we went for the head, the head. But we start going. And... I feel like I'm going <laughs> right for this thing's head. Yeah. And I'm freaking out. And the I'm... reason you felt that way is because we were. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm thinking, 
what is he doing? I'm like, he's supposed to be steering. Steering. There was and not much area to steer to, though. I mean, <laughs> then panic. I'm but like, once we once we got up on him, the sheer <laughs> massiveness of this alligator became apparent. Like he was big, and his head was huge. And uh, Judah was at, so as the canoe went past this alligator, maybe two feet between the boat and the guy's head. Yeah, maybe two feet. I think that's generous. That might be generous. Uh, you could, if he was uh, a gambler, <laughs> Judah could have reached out and touched its nose. It was, yeah. it was that close. It was. Yeah, and I in fear and fear, I just was just like Nathan. What are you, Nathan? <laughs> and then some words of fear came out of my mouth, yeah. which very you know, funny. Either here or I'll bleep it out. It <laughs> you can you know use your imagination, but they <laughs> they Expletives. weren't they weren't my normal words. Yeah. I can feel bad enough for it. <laughs> All right, so right up there is gator number 45. Mm -hmm. And he's laying right in the smack in the middle of the canal. Look at this. Look at this Here's guy. 45. He just does not care. He knew he was 45, and he just wanted to make this special. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, Nathan. Holy shit. Nathan! Oh my gosh. Okay, there's no sense of scale here now, but we just went around right there. He's like a eight, nine foot gator, and we were within a foot or so yeah, of him, I'd say. Woo! Yeah. Of his face, specifically. He didn't of seem like he was gonna do anything, but there was... I instantly, when he was He's, like a foot away, I felt fear that I could not control. Yeah, me too. That was like primal, man. Like, he was almost as long as our boat. I don't know. Anyway, that was a fun moment. So 22 was a terrifying, and yeah. 45, 45 were good ones. You know, hopefully um, we get some other... The 69 is really just... He came, he came up to hang out. He is just chilling out. He wants to hear he, things. Yeah. It's been interesting. This is definitely an experience. I'm glad I've been able to, to do this with Nathan. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Um, I doubt he'll have something up for his music by the time I post this. But okay. you should keep an eye out for Nathan. Are you still going to go by Elliot? Mm -hmm. My middle name, Elliot. So, Elliot Evans. Elliot Evans. Which, oh, by the way, uh, just a side note that has nothing to do with this trip, but I guess his music and our relationship. Uh... I had the pleasure of being able to do art for one of his CDs, mm -hmm. and uh, beautiful. I had a, a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, I had got a lot of good photos. Had a lot of fun working on that. Yeah, and there's nothing out there for you. There is uh, some YouTube. Uh, Border Town is on YouTube okay. still, so if oh, people want right. to check that out, that's <laughs> available. I shot and a music video for him too. Yeah, which is actually on this channel. There you go. So, aren't you glad I'll you subscribed to it now? Yeah, so I will link a description <laughs> into his Border Town video. There you go. And you can check that out as, as well as the song we're going to. Get a little taste. Yeah. And, and follow him on his musical journey, wherever it may or may not go. But anyway, um, thank you. Leave a comment if you have alligator stories. And what would you have done? Heads or tails? Yes, we definitely want to know. That's would you would, would you have gone for the head or would you have gone for What's the tail? It's a safer bet. And uh, that's it. See you later. Bye. Okay. 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 Well, well, I, mean, I just don't want to spook him. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean he knows we're here. He'd spook him in the sense of like he wants to snap at us. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's oh my gosh nathan holy shit 
Nathan! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Did you find that funny? I haven't passed him yet. I'm not, I don't think it's funny yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was a little terrifying. 